Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. We're very red today, aren't we? <laughs> it can only mean one thing. We're going to be doing stages 77 to 80 of the IXO Collections release, a build to Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. Looking good here already, isn't it? Now, this was filmed on a live stream for the Patreons last Wednesday, so this has been heavily edited down. If you want to see the full version of this, you can join my Patreon. It's only a dollar to join, and you can actually decide what you're going to donate and support the channel. Uh, and I'll put the link down here to my Patreon. It's also in the video description, so you can see that as well. Uh, you've also got access to all the back catalogue of videos and vaccine things that I've done for the last, how long I have my Patreon now? Two years? Something like that, but that's uh, all opened up and access for you as well now before i get on to the peugeot just so you know part work upgrades and again i put a link down here have now made this absolutely excellent cover for it check that out so that uh, if you are building this and you haven't got it in a box like i have uh, it can just quite simply fit over the top like that keep that perfectly safe for you now they do covers for pretty much every one of the one eight vehicle that we do at the moment uh, but i do like the look of that this is uh from partworks upgrade so uh thank you very ian for that that's going to uh protect the vehicle while we're building it but let's show you what we did in this one we're going to be basically doing the hatchback boot system we are doing the interior headline and some electrics as well so without further ado let's get cracking The first thing we're going to do is this tiny piece here that you can see. We're actually going to be putting that into this tiny piece here. This is going to be a nightmare. And lucky for me, I've got new glasses, so I can actually kind of see what I'm doing without putting my big magnifying glasses on. So we're putting that section in there like that. This whole thing is going to go onto this brilliant looking trim so that's going to go in here and then that's going to be held in from this side with an ap screw so i will make that nice and tight there we go so that looks just like that uh, once we've done that we are going to that's actually the bolt this is the uh the key and the push key it's, it's taking me back to when i uh had mine then we're going to be taking over the hatchback that we worked on last time. This is going to be going underneath. Turn it over and that's going to be held in once again with AP screws. So this is plastic. So I can put one in this side. And this one is going this side. Okay. So that is now in place. So once we've done that, we're going to keep this in here just to protect it for now. But that's all there is to do in that stage. In the next stage, which is stage 78, we've got the inner lining and the uh, window wiper to put on. So we're going to put this together, including the glass. So at the end, it's looking just like that. OK, so what we're going to do first is we're going to be taking this section here, getting the window out with the, uh, I love the heated um, windscreen we've got there. This is just going to sit in like this. And then we're going to be putting this over the top. Keep all of that in place. Being very gentle with this. That looks perfect already. Don't need to do anything else. That's going to be held in with AM screws. You know what I'm going to say? We're going into metal. So I will be putting this into some oil. Just like that. Excellent. One at the other side. They're all going in now. I'm uh, just seeing. We don't put anything in the middle ones here. I guess that's going to be for something else afterwards. One here. That's going to keep that window into place. That looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Check that out. Okay, so we can put that to one side because we're now we're going to be making a windscreen. Now, I have problems in real life actually getting these. You get the universal ones and then trying to put them together, 
living nightmare. <laughs> All we're going to do is we've got a tab here. We're just going to push that into the back. I wish my ones for my uh, Nissan Note outside were as easy as to do as that. So as you can see, we've now got a windscreen wiper. Uh, this is going to go into the hole that we've got here. In like that. So there we go. That's in place. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, so we've got these sections now, which again, we're working on the back section. So we're going to create the drawstrings that normally lift up the parcel shelf. Uh, putting a little bit more trim in. Uh, we've got these attached to the hatchback window there. Uh, so it looks just like that at the end. You know what? I'm going to leave this off for a minute. I'll put that back in because that's just going to drive me nuts. Uh, right, we're going to we're going to be putting some screws into these ports here, but we've got some trim to put on. So the trim is going on this side. We've actually got some holes in the glass. I didn't realise that. This is going in there, and it's going to be held in on the other side with DP screws. So I'll get them open. Put this through the holes at the back here. One this side, and one on the other side. Then I gave us quite a few DP screws, and the reason for that is because we're about to use it. Let's make sure this is all the way in. There we go, that's the trim panel in. We're going to put some DP screws just in those holes there, but they're not going in all the way. We're actually going to be putting this string around them. But we've got to make our own knot by the look of it. Oh, God, okay uh right I'm trying to think the best way to do this i won't put that all the way in i've got to make a knot so i'm going to do that off this then put it on i wasn't really a boy scout so i don't really know my knots too well and then i'll tie it the other way i did do fishing though so I'm just doing a knot like I'd put a hook on this. <laughs> I will trim that in a second, but I've got the first lead there. Let's do the same on the other side. Okay, so that's in here. We've got those both in place. We can put that to one side, because we're now working on the brace systems here. And we're going to be putting uh, a little tab that looks like this on one side and that's going to go in like this here and that's going to be held in with an am screw so i get some of them out some of the ways that i hold my screwdrivers just to get a part in is ridiculous there we go that's going in fine i think we've got to have some play in this i'm guessing but that's that on there we're going to do the same on the other side it's the small one that goes in here not the big one the big one's eventually going to go over like that bit over the top so on the other side this one's going in here same way held in with a cm screw Just checking that's the right way around which it is line that up perfect now we've got these two parts in here. Excellent. We're then going to be putting this into the vehicle. I've got the body of the vehicle here. Looks like that. Pretty impressive, isn't it? If I uh, just move the camera to the side camera, that's what that's looking like. Turn it upside down. Because we're going to be putting this into the back here. It's going to go in over here like this. That's now in. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to take these tabs. And they're going to go over the top here. So we're going to be putting these tabs in with BM screws. <laughs> so here's the first one. Make sure that's nice and tight. I have put this in oil. Excellent. And here's another one. 
don't know how well you can see what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm just putting tabs over the top here to uh, keep this in. There we go. One in here. And then finally, one in the other side. They're just saying to leave these two parts that we had for later on to obviously keep the screws. So that's all we're doing there. Which means the last thing we've got to do, not much, is just this bit of interior headlining here. It's actually a real quick stage in this one. Okay, so we've got the headlining here that we're going to be putting in. I'm just checking which way this is going. We've got these handles here going in. One here. One here. And just one on this side. And all of these are going to be held in with HP screws. Of course, these handles were used to hold all of my suits all those years ago. <laughs> They're all going to fall out there, by the way. So, here's the last one. And they're all in place. Now, once we've got that, down here, you can see we've got a channel for this LED here. So the LED is going to be going in the end. I'm just going to push in. Then we're going to be folding over the lead, like that. And then we're going to be tracing that around this section and out. And to do that, we need to put these little black pads, stickers, which I always have a nightmare getting these off of here, I have to say. See, look, they just, you wanna take the paper with them. There you go, there's the first one. So the first one I'm gonna be putting, uh, they don't want it on the light, they want it just around about there. So that's the first one, I'm trying to keep this flat in here like that second one it's going i get it off just before the bend so one here and then the third one they've got the very base here just before it goes out so let's get that in it's actually on the bend they've got it so just like that so that's now coming out the side that's it <laughs> that's all we've got to do oh well there's going to be a lot more than that oh so that's the headlining in place so we've done that we've obviously got the bodywork this is eventually going to go inside that i would i need to trim let me turn this around actually i need to trim just the excess of this string here I'm using my sprue cutters for that because they're really good for cutting that, especially if they're sharp. Do this side. There we go. But there's no place for these to go at the moment. But uh, yeah, I love this build. Just the bodywork looks great. <laughs> but I'll keep that there. So I need to put the windscreen wiper back in. I'm not sure how I'm going to put that in yet to keep it in place. That fell out too uh, uh, too easy for my... Uh, I might have to glue that in. It's not actually a working wiper, but we'll see that. And then I've got to put in my wing mirror as well, which fell off. Just need to put a bit of glue on the back there. And there you go. That's what it's looking like when it's done. Now, I've left the windscreen wiper out at the back at the moment until I find a permanent solution of how I'm going to fit that. I tried to push it in as hard as I can, but it just won't stay, so I probably am going to glue that. Uh, I don't know how many stages we've got left to do of this. I do have the next box here. I'm just waiting for the instructions to go up on the website in English. I mean, when I built this, I didn't have the English instructions. I actually did it in French. So the pictures are pretty much self-explanatory what we're doing. So hopefully that one will be coming soon as well. But if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put the link down here to the IXO Collections website. 
you can get this all the way from pack one. One of the most detailed vehicles, believe it or not, that I'm doing at the moment. That and the uh, Porsche 917KH, which is also from IXO Collections. We're going to be doing a live stream tonight. We're going to be doing the Iron Man build. So hopefully check that out at 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Other than that, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.